How's it going Aquarius? I hope everybody's having a great day. We are going to get into your reading. This is going to be in regards to the one that hurt you. We're going to see what messages of clarity come through, things that they might have been hiding. Um, is it really over? What will the next move be or the outcome be? So let's get into it. Do take what resonates to Aquarius. Never force anything to fit. Always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus sign placements for additional clarity. Um, Aquarius, if you are new to my channel, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome. I am giving away one free personal reading this month. All I need you to do is become a subscriber to take part in my monthly giveaways. Usually they're two or more. The reason it's only one this month, I'm going on vacation. So go ahead and subscribe and then new and returning subscribers either leave the word giveaway down below or whatever emoji you're feeling in the moment, leave that below. At the end of this month, I will randomly choose that person to win and I'll remind all of you to check your notifications. Like I said, three people, oh, three people, one person will be hearing from me. Beginning of August readings, I will announce August's giveaway. All right. Oh, divine. Look at that. Divine counterpart already came out for you. Either twin flame or soulmate, but divine counterpart. Worth the wait. Be patient and don't give up hope. So the one that hurt you, the one you're feeling sadness with, I'm feeling like the Seven of Wands energy. Depending on what it was going on in their life that was toxic, I feel that spirit was redirecting you away from them for the moment. What is this toxicity? You'll know better than me. Is it an, addic is it an addiction? Is it someone who was leaving a toxic relationship or trying to heal from someone toxic? You might have met someone that was in a very mentally or verbally or even physically abusive relationship prior to meeting you. But I do feel a soul connection between you and this person. All right. For my Aquarius and the one they're hurting by from. All right. Those two wanted to come out. We're going to take them. This is the image. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So this is a message from them to you. That whole deck is not about, you know, messages from one to the other. There's messages from spirit guides. You know, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's a cluster of different messages. That's a message from them to you. And this is the other. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love will dramatically improve. What do you adore about one another? What drew the two of you together in the first place? We all meet as strangers, right? Even if we're on a bond, a soul bond, we all meet as strangers. So getting back to the basics, getting back to the beginning. I feel that's with any relationship sometimes. Girl with a snake. Being charmed or used. Enable, enabling boundaries. See, that's what I feel there with that toxic connection was that your person was dealing with. Look, the Grim Reaper in reverse. Something that you felt was an ending. I also feel with the Grim Reaper here, this is a chapter that needed to be closed out within your person. They needed to close out that toxic energy before they can move forward with you. This also came out in reverse, the dragonfly. They had to find light within their life. For some of you, you were dealing with this person and they were in within a very dark energy. But Spirit is saying, worth the wait. So let's see. I 
I just, and I just heard this phrase. I, it's what, and I know some of you have heard me say this. <clears throat> I hate when people say, or I shouldn't use the word hate. I, I don't like when people say like, you know, it's your own right to, for, you know, to not go back to a past person or someone that hurt you. But when they say like, I will never forgive that person. I will never accept the, the past back. I don't understand why every tarot reader centers on people from the past. Well, we don't. We read exactly, exactly the meaning of the cards that come out. Right? However, and this is the phrase I just heard and some of you may relate. If everything was white or black, if it was that, if it was that white or black, there would be no gray, there would be no color. So it's within certain situations that are not like a, a, like a yes or a no or a white or a black that we find like we there is no space to grow. So there will be no gray and there would be no color. All right. The wheel of fortune divinely guided. Look at that divine counterpart divinely guided. The tower. The nine of wands. The Five of Coins, Messenger of Wands, and the Star. I have to say, Aquarius, with you showing up, you are like that diamond in the rough to this person. You are their soul bond. They, Yes, they have been through specific tests of faith that were toxic, that depleted their energy, that... When you met them, they were in that negative energy that I spoke of. They needed to find their way to you, but in a better energy. There were things that they needed to focus on. That they needed to see what was important and what was no longer causing them like what was no longer causing them happiness. They needed to close those chapters where they felt left out in the cold or dissatisfied or felt alone you know I feel that there were people in your person's life and this may have may have been the way they showed up in your life prior to things in the past in their life they showed up with fear of commitment they might have seemed jealous um, I feel that people showed up in their life for a very short time and then exited so that they had that, that fear of being hurt, of being open. But you are that wish at the end of the tunnel. You are that light for them. And I feel like you came in their life like a wrecking ball. Something that they were not anticipating because they were just beginning to stand up from certain things that had knocked them down. Spirit, why the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower? In Aquarius is reading. Yes. You were the one that created that spark in their life. And why the tower and the nine of wands. The champion of cups. They're following their heart to you. I feel that they need it to do some work with becoming emotionally grounded. You might have thought to yourself, like, I met, I meet this person and they seem sad. They seem depressed. Not all the time, but they do. Like, they just won't open up. I'm, I, I want to hear what they have to say, but they just won't let their guard down. And they weren't going to. They had to evolve. And they're coming towards you very evolved within their emotions. Ready to open up. Still might seem, you know... A little bit here and there, but they're going to make that move to open up. All right, Spirit, and why the Nine of Wands and the Five of Coins? The Moon. Like I said, that they needed to focus in on their own clarity. Let's see. Yeah, Nine of Swords. 
what was holding them back, what was in their mind space. They need to triumph over that. They are coming towards you in their divine energy. And why the five of coins? Yeah, see, they were at a crossroads. Makes sense. They're follow definitely following their heart. Right here, two of swords, five of wands. The challenges, the crossroads, they were real. Look at this. It even shows they might have been it within like some abuse. You see how the door frame is broken. This person needed to figure out what they wanted, learn to trust themselves, trust their decisions, heal the choices from the choices that they made and the, the situations that they were evolving from. You came in, like I said, knowing what you wanted, mentally grounded. I feel like they were very intrigued by conversations that you had together. Just you came in on point and they were like, WTF, like I don't even know what to do with this. I'm so used to being, you know, compromised. I'm so used to being taken for granted, not being appreciated, um, being used. And here is Aquarius, this big star shining. They had to overcome their own challenges. And I feel for you, you did what you could, and then some of you walked away. You're like, I just, I, I don't know how to help you. I don't know. You can't leave me in the dark. You can't leave me guessing or confused. All right. We've got the Five of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. They're coming towards you, Aquarius. They're moving slowly. Every day is a growth process for them. However, those Seven of Pentacles, those seeds, those things that you've planted within them, how you showed up like a wrecking ball in their life in a positive way, now they're, it's like their vision is different because now they know their worth. They're in the process of becoming lighthearted again, of healing. And now their vision is different for what they want. They are coming in slowly with the Nine of Wands there. Spirit, why is the Nine of Wands here twice? Ten of Pentacles. They had to build up their confidence, reach certain goals for themselves. Self-love, self-focus, self-abundance. And for some of you that were dealing with someone that was in a toxic energy, it could have been, you know, being codependent, gambling their money away, um, not having those finances, and that's what they needed to focus on but they are following their heart. Yes, Spirit is saying to get ready to celebrate. This person is coming in, taking things seriously, having come in, having, having come in, lightening their own burdens. All right, Spirit. What else do you have for Aquarius and the one that hurt them? The balloons getting ready to celebrate, rising above, where they felt defeated, where you they have felt they have told you they hit rock bottom, they are rising above. But I also feel that this is your energy, Aquarius. Like I said, you did the best you could. You knew that this was your soulmate, but upon le receiving that dear John letter, you know per se, but the rejection. Or feeling like this person was just completely guarded and pushing you away. You continue to live on. You continue to grow, grow. You can't fix sometimes what's broken. You can try.
but then it just takes too much of your energy and you're like, you know what, gotta go. This is the wisdom. This is the silence that is currently existing, but this is the wisdom that comes from that silence. And look, 5-5, five, five. change is coming. A little change of heart here. And there it is. They're following their passion. They're coming in to sweep you off your feet, Aquarius. I do have, obviously, strong fire energy here. But I also have earth. Um, and then I have, you, you could also be dealing with an air sign. With the three of cups and the king of cups, there's also water. So take it how it resonates with your chart and this person's chart. Or what you know them to be. All right, spirit. Final messages from... The person that hurt Aquarius. Things that they might have been hiding. Anything that you can bring forward to bring clarity to Aquarius. We will be together again. I know I was a distraction from your pain. You might have met this person when you were healing from something. I left you before you could leave me. Yeah, they took the easy way out. For some, when it got too real or got too deep, they got going. H I N G T C E D B, W, and then the rest are repeats. And I just heard ride the tide. Ride the tide. The tide that brings them in, ride the tide, ride the course. However that plays out. All right, guys. Um, leave that whatever type of emoji you would like to down below for the giveaway or simply the word giveaway anytime you want me to tune in to just your energy click on the link that'll take you right over to my Etsy shop it's in the description box there you will find a variety of readings that I offer personal readings my Etsy shop will go on vacation mode the 17th and it will reopen the beginning of August um, I am going away I will have all of my personal readings caught up and sent out um, before I go on vacation. And my YouTube readings will still post while I'm on vacation. I'm going to take my decks with me. All right, love and light.